Hey everybody, Golden Ninja 3000 here, and today I have another unboxing for you. This is my third set unboxing, and it is for the Lego Movie. This set is Lord Business's Evil Lair, as I'm sure you all could see, and it is like the awesomest set ever. Um, it is currently the largest set on the market, although um, Metal Beard's Sea Cow, Metal Beard's Giant Pirate Ship, will be released on February 17th to VIP members only, and then available for, like, everyone in March. So that will, like, dethrone this as the biggest set. But I have my friend here today with me, and I'm actually filming at his house, which is why I don't have my base plate. So, just an unboxing today, and I'm gonna try to say as little about the Lego movie as possible, because I did watch it yesterday, and I don't want to ruin it for those who didn't watch it, so... Over here, um, you got a lot going on. There's the there's the craggle, the tube of crazy glue that Lord Business is using to glue everything, because everything is like perfect. So he wants to like glue it together so that it never gets messed up. Emmett, and if you pull out this rail, he gets catapulted into an infinity. And there's the nine volt battery, which is being which is powering the think tank, where the master builders are drained of their creativity. This is the machine for the craggle. Gluing Bad Cop, um, Lord Business's number one henchman. He's um, this is gluing his parents to the ground, and this is Lord Business's conference room. There's a little sticker that says sales. Then over here is the where the hit TV sitcom Where Are My Pants are filmed with Business Kitty, which is Unikitty in disguise. Then there's Vitruvius the magician, and of course Lord Business himself. And this is ages 8 to 14, set 70809, and 738 pieces, cost $70. And you get seven minifigures, and Lord Business actually does come with this president business form, which is nice. And you get Emmett, Business, um, Vitruvius, Makop, Pacop, El Macho Wrestler, and Business Kitty. So she's not really a minifigure, but more like a brick-built figure. I also got her palace. So that set will be coming soon. And let's take a look at the back of the box. This is Lord Business, and this is his double-sided face. Like his business face, just like black with some red slashes. And so this is the actual size. It says 18 inches, I think. No, I thought it said 18 inches anyway, somewhere, but it's really, really awesome, his form. So, um... And so, yeah, just more stuff. For some reason, Business Kitty is, like, dancing on the conference table. And Mock Hop and Pock Hop are, like, here now for some reason. And Vitruvius is, like, he's running towards them. I was just about to say he's, like, running towards nothing. But And then the, this is Brick Built, and that is stickers. That are, those are stickers. Sorry. I can't talk. But um, this can actually come out of the, the claw that's, like, squeezing the glue out. That's the machine where you push... A lever and like it swings through these black doors. You can attach Emmett to the 9 volt battery and catapult him into infinity. And the video game is coming soon, and I am getting that with an exclusive Western Emmett figure. And that's how you can take off his hair and stuff. That is a really, really cool piece. It's all one piece except for the cups and the stud. So sorry I'm talking so fast, but yep. And also over here, Lord Business is hurling the piece of resistance into infinity. Which you'll see in the movie, too. So, let's get this open. And I'm talking really fast, so I apologize. I don't know why I'm talking so fast. So, I'm on my box cutter today because I'm at my friend's house. Just got some regular scissors. So, let me, let me move this up so that you can see me cutting open the box. Okay. That didn't even cut. And I just... Murdered the box, which is why I prefer to use box cutters. But my friend doesn't have a box cutter at his house, so I kind of just like ripped the box, but at least it didn't go into the printing. So, yeah. I also forgot to mention I'm also getting another Lego dino set, the Triceratops Trapper. And so, unboxing and review of that will be coming within the month, hopefully. And, um, yeah, so let's just get this thing open. So, right here. So, 
sorry about that. That's my friend's sister, who I asked not to talk during the video. So, alright, here's everything you get. Let's maybe just kind of turn this up a bit. Here is bag one. Actually, instead of looking at the bags first, let's take a look at the manuals. Two manuals. Pretty nice and thick. Something I don't like, which I will show you right now. Minifigures are split up over the build. Bag 1 builds Emmett and Lord Business. And then the other minifigures are scattered throughout the build, which is actually quite unfortunate. But for loose pieces, you get two of these tubes. And one of them is actually an extra, which is a really nice extra piece. So, something new for the capes that they've done in this set is that there are three capes. Lord Business is a giant tie, Vitruvius is sparkly cape, and just a normal white cape for the El Macho Wrestler. They've actually, um, for some reason, put it in like a small bag with cardboard. So, that's something new. And I kind of like it. So I think that his tie cape might actually isn't is actually supposed to like represent an actual tie that like kinda like kinda like fell from the human world, but they don't explain anything of that in the movie, but that's just my suspicions. Then over here are the stickers. Not too many, so I'm glad you got two stickers for the craggle over there. A couple stickers for the battery. That has words on it. I'll show you that in the review. Then where are my pants? And the sails which are breaking through. So, and there are, let's see, one, two, three, four, five numbered bags, which I feel is kind of little for a set this size, but, I don't know. So then, this is bag one. So, good number of pieces in here. And here is bag two. So it looks like in this one you build Business Kitty. You can see her tail piece over here, which is a really, really awesome new piece. Also her face right there. Awesome. And then bag number three. Yep, these are actually pretty full. And in this one you build Ma Cop and Pa Cop. And as you can see, there are torsos in there. I actually have a suspicion about the torsos. They look kind of simple, like the printing on torsos from like the 1990s. So, I don't know, I think it's kind of like an inside joke because they're supposed to be, like, elderly minifigures and they've got, like, old torso printing, so. Um, this is bag four. You build Vitruvius in this bag. So this is kind of emptier than the other ones. And here's bag five. Where you build the craggle and the studio, so. Yeah, no minifigure in this one, I think, so. So yeah, you got five numbered bags. You've got two of these two pieces, capes, stickers, instructions, and this is all that you get in the set. So, thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next unboxing video, which will be Cloud Cuckoo Palace. See you guys later. Bye.